If it seems like it's getting harder to fit your car or truck into a parking spot, it's not your imagination. CTV News decided to do a little measuring, and it turns out parking stalls in many parts of Metro Vancouver are indeed getting smaller. And that's just part of the problem. CTV's John Woodward reports on a trend that is putting the squeeze on drivers. Sometimes it gets caught on video, but most of the time all you're left with is the dent and a bill. Obviously it uh, doesn't make me happy to be spending money, I guess, to, to repair the car. And it's happening more in BC. 20 years ago, four out of every 10 crashes were in parking lots or involving parked cars. Now, ICBC stats show that's closer to five in 10. Should we blame the drivers or something else? Everywhere is less space. Has to be careful. Oh, they really squeeze you. No one keeps track of whether spots are shrinking, so we did a test. Vancouver's convention center buildings were built side by side, three decades apart. Canada Place opened in 1986 for Expo. Parking spots there, 101 inches wide. But at the West Building, built in 2009, standard spaces, which are still based on the old imperial measuring system, are three inches narrower, just 98 inches wide, the smallest they can be by law. In confined space, it doesn't take much to, hey, there, there's an incident. There's another explanation too. Cars are getting bigger. Today's Volkswagen Golf is four and a half inches wider than in 2001. And it's worse with trucks. It's been reshaped up here and around here. Since 1991, the top selling Ford F-150 has grown about 14% in length and 23% in width. There's a reason this Ford F-150 can't fit into a regular parking space. It's more than a foot longer. Don't expect developers to build bigger spots to keep up. There's such a premium on space, and it's so expensive to provide that parking, and there's so many other things that you could be doing with that space. So be careful out there, or if you can't beat them, join them and get a smaller car. John Woodward, CTV News, Vancouver. Yes, well, when it comes to narrow parking stalls, some Metro Vancouver cities are much worse than others. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow at 6, John Woodward tells us where drivers are most likely to feel the squeeze, and he'll track down the city where drivers can find the most breathing room. That's tomorrow at 6 on CTV News. And our question of the day, are you frustrated by parking spaces that are too small? To have your say, you can vote on our website, send us a tweet, or leave a comment on our Facebook page.